What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 132. We want to make our wish list. I promise I won't cut the stream off fast by idiots wishing shit that isn't real. Um, it might happen, it might not, but stay tuned. And chat knows that there's a lot of dummies in the chat. There's a, a chat knows that they're dummies. If, if chat knows dummies exist, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know how to explain it. But you guys, but you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, boys. I I, I fully believe that. You guys are picking up what I'm putting down. But let's get it. 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 What's up, boys? Let's talk about Madden. We've been playing baseball. We've been enjoying this. Is this summer yet? Is this summer yet? I really don't know. I really don't know when summer starts, when when spring. That shit don't matter. If it's over 90 degrees ever. Matter of fact, if it's over 85, it's summer. That's how I feel. Cross platform. Yo, this guy, Agua. Agua is going to get us started early. He's going to get us started early. Agua type. A plebe. Oh, man. Cross platform. That's one thing that I, I don't want at all. I don't want that at all. In fact... The downsides of cross-platform is way bigger than the positives of cross-platform. Risk and reward of cross-platform. Let's talk about that real quick. Risk and reward of cross-platform. The reward? Okay, I get to play PlayStation, guys. whippity doo da day Who gives a shit? Downside, it's going to be laggy as fuck. There's already four disconnections per weekend league. You expect them to all of a sudden be able to get crossplay for for a sports game where you're playing one person? Why does it un, why does it matter? Give me give me uh, uh, the reason. What is the what is the positive of cross platform? You get to play your fucking best friend. Well, you know what? You know what, Steven? If you wanted to play your best friend, you should have brought the same damn system as him. Seriously. There it is. You know what? If I got into video gaming to play my friend down the street, I, we would have the same system. Right? They should be able to do it easy. But let's just let's just take the evidence that we have. As a, as a person, you're just supposed to use the evidence and use the examples that you have to make your own reasonable expectation for what's going to happen in the future. And what we get from one system, now you want to add two systems. Yo, MLB did it, and it's already, it's kind of shitty. Now, I'll be honest. I, I MLB, not the worst. It's not the worst. It's not the worst situation, but who needed it? Why? I, this is my question to you. Why? That's the only... Listen, everybody that plays competitive Madden has both systems, one way or the other. If you don't, you're not really super sweaty. I will, you already said, you already said cross-platform, and you already said the better player wins. You know who always says, I hope the better player wins? The shitty fucking players. Shut up. The better player wins because they fucking win. All right. Of course, of course. Let me tell you something. Of course, of course, people get cheated from time to time. It happens to every single person that sits in front of a Madden game that plays a Madden game. Matter of fact, put an emote in the chat if you've ever been cheated in a game of Madden. Every single person. Every single one. It's just, some people say that, oh, the fluke, change the fluke. I need, I need, I need some, I, I need more examples. I need more, I need more defined, give me, stop the fluke, the better players should win. How? How do you, how do you, how do you expect that to happen? My man Fritzy with the year bomb, with the year ski beer ski. Yeah, man. 
MLB one million percent. Well, we're not. What we're not going to do is compare MLB and Madden because Madden is far superior game. Far superior. Exactly, PD. Exactly, and they've always been like that. In fact, they're getting better. Madden's getting better. I don't know. It's 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 really hard to step back, because by this time of year, you get so sick of the shit game of Madden. You've been playing this shit, absolute dog crap Madden for ten months, right, boys? So, after the ten month mark, you're like, bro, this game sucks. I hate it. Everything about it sucks. But it's hard to step back. Remove yourself from the current vibes and and see what the game's worth, really. If Madden 22 dropped Thursday, yes, baseball would be done. I don't know. Madden, of course Madden gets better every year. Now, Madden 20 was not better than Madden 19, I'll tell you that. But, Madden 20 was... Madden 20 was the first year they went crazy with the... <sighs> with the abilities. You know what I'm saying? And once they went crazy with the abilities, who knows what was going to happen. Uh, the abilities in Madden 20 were way worse than Madden 21. Now, let's talk about this. But let's talk about the Madden cover. Let's talk about the Madden cover. Bro, when I start talking a lot, like non-stop talking like this, bro, I just like got to yawn. Like, I guess I don't breathe the same way. Madden 20 was fun and refreshing. This is going to end very fastly, boys. I, I will tell you, uh, since I since I went on screen, we've probably been eight minutes, not even maybe six minutes. This is going to end very fastly. Very fastly, quickly, quick, fast, fast, quick. You know, you know what I'm. You, you guys know what I mean. Oh my God, dude! Listen, first of all, all right. Let's do the cover. Let's talk about the cover. They showed the two goats. If any of you guys missed it, apparently there's two goats. Now, I am of the notion that GOAT means greatest of all time, right? So there should really only be one. So having two is kind of like, we already throw around that term way too usely, right? But right, way too loosely, uh, the term GOAT. And to have two of them kind of is contradiction, I guess. But if you're going to give me two GOATs, and today I saw they said escape artist, no, I don't know if that's... I don't really know what clues it are. I mean, Vic is is the GOAT of Madden. Vic is the number one GOAT of Madden. Um, would they go Vic Brady? Vic Mahomes? Mahomes was lit. Wasn't he just on the cover? Wasn't this last Madden Mahomes? So Mahomes is going to go back to back? Now, I don't think you can do... I don't think you can do a cover with... I don't think you can do two goats and not have Brady. I don't think that's fair, right, boys? Henry and who's George? George Costanza? Paul George? This guy's trolling me, dude. This guy, this guy, PDP, he's trolling. He's trolling. Eddie George. I, I didn't know who George was. I really don't know. We'll see. 
But I don't. I, it'd be weird for Mahomes to go back to back, right? I don't think Mahomes goes back to back. My man Jake with the nine months. Let's go, man. George Foreman. I think Vic. I, but this is how I feel. You can't do goat without Brady, right? You literally can't. It's like not an option. When was Mahomes? Oh, Lamar was this year? Oh. I literally, y'all didn't tell me anything. I literally said that. Nobody said shit. Until I said back to back. Y'all are nasty, bro. But uh, I, I would think Brady and Vic would be crazy. Brady, Brady and Vic would be hard. That'd be a hard cover. Now, does anybody remember the last cover with two, the only other cover with two athletes on it? Who were those two athletes? Go! First one to get it wins a high five from the rest of the chat. Big Ben and Larry Fitzgerald. Caballo, come on, man. My man, Mazman, with the 13 months. I really was going to say Pilot Milo and Drew Brees. I definitely, that's my bad. Why did I think Drew Brees was on, like, the cover before that or after it? I forget. I'm 34, man. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When was Drew Brees? Was it after? Yeah. That's my bad, boys. That's my bad. I'm sorry. Good answer, though, boys. Good answer. Good answers from the chat. I think Brady and Vic would be hard. That'd be a tough-ass cover. Gronk and Brady? That would be an ass cover. I don't want Gronk and Brady on my goddamn. That would be ass. That's got to be an L for me. But Gronk, wasn't Gronk on Madden 17 cover? Yeah, Gronk was on the whole cover. My man Fritzy with the five yifties. Fritzy with the fivesies. And right like that, we're closing back in on 1,900 subs. Let's go, man. Jerry Rice and Brady, Tyler. That would be awesome, man. I can't wait to go out and buy Jerry Rice and Brady. If they use a graphic rather than a copy and paste photo. I don't I don't really know what that means. It's levy, I don't know. I think I think it's I think EA will do a good job with the artwork, if that makes sense. I think that would do it. Now, all right, here we go with the question. What is the best Madden cover of all time? There's another, there's a side question. Mahomes was pretty hard. But I think, I think we got to go with the Vic. I don't know. I don't know, boys. You guys tell me. You guys tell me. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Odell. Odell might have been tough. Oh, Odell might have went crazy. The Odell might have went crazy, boys. The Odell might have went crazy. Now, obviously, we have Mahomes and Lamar. Mahomes is pretty cool. I wouldn't call it the best. Madden 17 is pretty hard. I don't know. Talk to me, boys. I think Vic might take the, take the nod, though, man. Culpepper? Might be the worst. Sean Alexander might be the worst. Is the Troy P and Palomalu not on the on the list here, boys? Calvin Johnson? That's not a that's kind of not a bad one. 
The Ray Lewis. I see nobody save for the Ray Lewis. Nobody giving Ray Lewis any love. The Sherman's pretty hard. I like this. I like the. I like the lighting on the Sherman. See, it's like a sun glare. I like that. That's pretty dope. Um, Madden 17, 16, 16, 17 were pretty hard. The Brady one is pretty, pretty stoic too, man. But I think Vic is the best cover. The McNabb cover is pretty hard too. Can we? Can we? Uh, y'all, y'all agree with that? Is the McNabb cover hard? Pretty dope. Yes, we're going to disrespect John Madden. We're going to disrespect John Madden. Yeah, we're going to disrespect it. I'm sorry. If you like the John Madden cover. Jesus Christ. Rank MLB covers, yeah, that's what we're not going to do. That's what we're not going to do. That's what we're not going to do. All right, boys. Covers. I think it could be Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith. I'm just that. I think it could be that. I might be wrong. I might be right. But I think it could be Devontae Smith, Jalen Hurts, Michael Crazy. Might go crazy. The real question is, how much is EA going to let us down by re-releasing the same Garbo? It's not going to end, I'm telling you. It's going to end fast, boys. Once I click this button and we go over to the wish list, it's going to end fast. It's going to end fast, boys. Enjoy it. Get your one comment in. It's going to end very, very fast, boys. But you guys know this already. Like, you guys know it's going to end fast. That's what's actually crazy about it. You guys know this is going to end fast when I click this button. Let me, let me, I'm not even want to, like, like. Boom. Boom. Wish list. Let's make our list, boys. Everybody, everybody might have one. Everybody might have one sentence. No crossplay. Mutt practice mode. There, that's a good one. There's a good one from the chat. Mutt practice mode. Boom. The chat's already being productive. Love to see it from the boys in the chat. Absolutely love to see it. Absolutely love to see it from the boys. Linebackers react. Oh, shit. Jack Lambert himself is in the chat. Linebackers react. Classic teams would be hard. What would you do with the classic teams, though? Like, what would you do with the classic team? Like... This is, uh, honestly, 
this is kind of how I feel about the game, man. Kind of how I feel. I feel like now. All right, hear me on this, boys. I, I want. I want to put now. Everybody, shut up. Everybody, shut up. All right. My man Eric in the building. Nineteen months. Let's go. Now listen, boys. I I want I want to make a statement here. I do. Now, as an old as an old person, I think I'm a, I'm an old head, thirty four years old Madden player, right? I've always been against the custom playbook. But you know what? I think it's time. I think it's I think it's I think it's a Neanderthal thought of Oh, the old way of Madden was you had to pick your playbook. Who gives a shit if everybody has every play, right? If everybody has every play, who gives a shit? Right? Like who complains about that? Like, if you just have every play, like, what's the downside? Really, what's the downside? Why? I, this is what I thought. Like, I always thought it was like Madden. Like, it was like a skill or it was like a decision making to pick what playbook you want. But the way it's been is one, the, the little Raiders playbook has been like a 90% custom playbook anyway. Like, why not just, who cares? Like, really, seriously. Let's just give everybody every play, but why not no defense? Why can't I why can't I tell my people to run 146? For real. Why can't I tell my people to run 146? I got the same players. But for real, what is the downside? I, I began to think about this and, and what is the downside of the custom playbook, really? Make sideline catches great. Sideline catches are fucking amazing, dude. I don't know what game you guys play. I feel like we're not competing. We're playing different games. You guys had a problem with sideline catches? Holy shit. What type of routes are you running? Hey, bro. I must play Mutt. Who is this guy? Holy shit, y'all dug him up from the depths of hell. Oh, y'all dug this guy Sniper up from the depths of hell. Where did they get this fucking guy? Oh my god, dude. I must play Mutt. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome to the fucking stream, dude. I must play Mutt. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let me sip my water. You must play Mutt. What the fuck do you play? That's what I want to know. Box, I'm going to fucking ban you for the rest of this, this chat. I swear to God. I'm literally going to ban He's just, just trolling. My oh, man Kobe in the building. Seventeen months. More specific zone drops. What? What? What the? F like Jesus Christ! Y'all want no nothing to be open. This is how I feel. You, there should be no limit on. If I want my cloud flat to play sixty yards, put that bitch on sixty yards. That's how I feel. Why that bitch? Why the bitch want want? It, it stops at thirty. Why can't I go to forty? Right. That's kind of how I feel about it. I just want to see prices from the auction block. Yo, you must have a lot of dust in your Xbox. 
You if you can't see auction auction, auction block damn uh prices, you must have a lot of goddamn dust. Yes, I they should definitely separate hard flats and cloud flats. But that would just make it even more toxic defense. Like, bro, the rush to Clundy, my guy, through July with the tier one. Let's go. Play designer. Play designer, honestly. Play, yo, weak box got it. All that shit got to fucking go. The whole audible system got to fucking go. The audible system got to go. Actually, I don't give a shit about the audible system. This just got to get rid of nut ass fucking weak box. I grew up in the era where you audible, you had five audibles only. That was your only audibles. The audible system has since then has become super cracked. Everything about it has become super cracked. The audible system. But when you're from the era of audible to five random things, who gives a shit about the audible system? The weak box shit just got to go. That's the dumbest shit in the world. Dumbest shit in the world. I'm putting that on my list. I don't I don't care what y'all say. I don't care about the audible system. I really don't. I really don't. I don't. Fix 146. What the fuck are they supposed to do about 146? What the fuck is wrong with 146? Remove 146. I mean, at some point, we're, if we're going to remove everything, just remove this or more this. Fix send to. Yeah, double teams should just be... Everybody should just have post up built in. Everybody should have post up built in. Everybody. Including... Everybody should have post up built in, including your, including your tight ends. Post up should just be built in. Send to, uh, I honestly, pressure, like, you know, we called it first and goal defense. It was, uh, the acronym was a little, uh, you know, a cancelable word we used to call it. Uh, it has always been a thing in Madden for the most part. Especially with zone drops now, it's kind of crazy. Shouldn't need the double team to stop the two-man rush. You're right. Three people should make a sandwich while two people block two people. Uh, I, you know, I, I think the old line was, I don't want to say good. I don't think good is the word I want to use for the old line, but wasn't the worst it's ever been still pretty shitty. I think I honestly, this is how I feel about the game. I think contain should just be off the, the contain should just be out of here, bro. Contains contain should just be out of here. They can, a contain is always glitchy. Contain is never executed the right way. I would be perfectly fine if they never had a contain in a game. I will tell you that. If they just group, it's always glitched. My old line always is a stupid versus them. They run around my line. Literally remove them shits. They don't work. You can never get them to work. They've been glitchy since contains have been in Madden, whether it's been Madden 09. Whatever glitch, Madden 08, they went right through the old. Like, I'm telling you, contain. let's just give up. Let's just give up trying to execute contains. And I don't give a shit. Who would complain that contains are in the that that contains aren't in the game? Who would complain about that? My man, I like seriously. I'm remove contains. Just literally, just get them out the. Just get them shits out the game. Just I'm removing them. That's what I'm doing. Remove that. I don't give a shit. This is my wish list. You fuck boys, remove them. Get them the fuck out. Get them out. Get them out. We remove blitzes. 
No, we just remove blitzing the fucking. We just remove glitching, confusing the whole line and making them dumb out. That's what we remove. Remove one. I'm I'm not a big remove one four six type of person. Nano detection has to super fucking go, bro. What the fuck is the user? What the? I have no problem with the user how it is. With the blitz angle, if you couldn't blitz your guy, it would suck. KMAC, 25 months. Z, you are next to have to sub. You can't call me Chris and not be subbed. That's a fucking rule. You already get banned. That's how this thing's that's how this thing works here. The user jumps too high. Who the fuck am I talking to, bro? What? Have y'all just played Madden this year? This is another example of the end of the year when the user is 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 jump, 99, 99, 99. Let's, let's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, I, 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 I am. No, I, I, I never played the game. I never played the game this year and said the user jumps too high. Never, never felt that way. I don't know if y'all felt that way, but I, I never, ever felt that way. <clears throat> Physical chems. I agree, bro. Physical chems got a fucking... I agree. Out of here. Training. I don't mind training. I don't. It sucks in the first month. The training system sucks in the first month. The training system whores your pockets in the first month. It does. No, the I don't want I don't want to start Madden. I don't want to start Madden where Tyree kills 83 speed. I really don't. Power up. I don't think power up's a bad thing because like, I don't know. I don't think it's that big a deal. Now over 100 stats, um, you get to the okay. This is just over 100. You could start them slower, or you could you know put them over 100. I think a slower. I think a slower progress is more. But honestly, if you got rid of sprinter. Yeah, if you got if you got rid of Sprinter, it would definitely slow down the pro, the uh the, you know what I mean the progress to get to that 99 speed. Yeah, Vols, I think 88 speed is cool, really. You know, I don't want them to be eight. I don't want Tyree Kill to be 83 speed. But playing in the, you know playing in the winter time and having 99 speed just should never be. Literally, it just should never be on what you call it. Yeah, 83 I don't want I don't I don't want to do that but I think removing the physical chems would do a big job of slowing down that rush to 99 speed really yeah 
99 speed? Pfft. Shouldn't happen. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? A creative player. Oh, man, 16 had Paraman, and you didn't need another. And part of the reason they went is because you never needed another. You never needed another wide receiver. Really. A month before Madden Bowl, we should have 99 speed. No, bro. No. The game is better when there's a speed difference in the fucking players. Not OD, but a linebacker should be five speed, six speed, eight speed slower than the wide receivers. The, the D line should be way slower than the wide receivers. That's the biggest thing. Shit. You know? Yeah, Skimbo likes when his wide receivers are faster than the corners. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know. I don't disagree with it, but I don't, you know. I don't see why there should, you know, Dion shouldn't be as fast as Tyreek Hill, you know. I don't see why that matters. <laughs> yeah, jo <laughs> joke. Why why is there five receivers with 97 speed and only two? But I I, I do think there should be uh I, I don't have a problem with the 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 wide receivers in the corners having the same speed. I really don't. If disengages weren't crazy, the speed of the D line wouldn't matter. You're right, Agua. The speed of players never fucking matters. You're right. I just don't, I don't know. I will tell you this, what I really want to get rid of. What I hate about Madden is the safeties at linebacker. I hate it. it sucks. I think it's I think it's made the game shitty. I don't know if y'all agree with me. I think it sucks. I think it sucks. It's ruined the whole position, but why, linebackers are completely irrelevant. Uh, it's, it's, it's ruined regs because you can just plug any shitter ass safety in it. Linebacker, you know, I, I just think it's a bad thing. I really do. Fat dad for the 12 months, you know, I just like, then the stupidest shit is that. Okay, my linebacker can't jump, but I can sub in a safety. Now he can jump. What type of stupid ass shit is that? Man, nobody had nobody had Anthony Barr, Gunner. So Anthony Barr is top five Madden player ever. Period. Make them ass at run defense. Shut the fuck up, dude. Make them ass at run defense. Like, no, just take them out the game. Literally, take it out. Safeties, that I would be honest with you, safeties this year were crazy in the run game. Safeties this year were insane in the run game. Our bar is like the number one user ever. Let's let's relax. But like, why? This is my question. This is my question to you. In all seriousness, why do you want safeties at linebacker? Because they're because they're stupid fucking fast and they can cover people. And honestly, the downside was zero this year. Zero. There's no downside. Yeah, linebackers not being able to jump. This is like, honestly, this is pissing me off thinking about how to, how stupid this is. It's pissing me off. I'm not a I'm not an easily pissable offable person. But I'm getting pissed off thinking about Madden right now. Because how stupid is it that a linebacker can't jump? Right? But you put a safety in. You, you Your safety could be... This is what's crazy. Your safety could be 56 jump, 78 speed, 
But he's he's turning in, he's turning into Usain Bolt running around, jumping, catching the ball, doing everything. But my Devin White with 98 speed can't jump. How stupid is that when you really think about it? Seriously. How stupid is that shit? And that was their fix for the users too good. The user's too good. Stop fucking throwing at it. You got 50. Is it 54 feet or 52? 54 or 52. You got 110 yards and 52 yards, right? Or 50. I think it's 52 yards wide, the football field, right? Come on. Come on. Where's my goddamn, where's my, where's my football experts at right here? 52 yards. I think it's 52. 54, Agua, I think you're bullshitting. I think it's 52. I, listen, they don't have the answers. This is the chat. When you don't need answers, they're goddamn the dictionary. But when you need, when you need answers, they don't, they're not here. They're not here. No, safeties need to not be, safeties need to not be linebackers, for real. Safeties need to not be linebackers. I'm, I'm adamant about that. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's made the game shitty. I think it has. You know, I think I think it's legit made the game shitty. These are my list right here. So what do you do about big nickel? Sniper, you are giving me the biggest bot. I feel like you're just trolling. You're such a bot that you're trolling the channel right now. You're trolling the channel. Listen, I, I mean, let me let me make this let me make this abundantly clear. Let me make this abundantly clear. All right? My answer is never take shit out of the game. Ever. By taking shit out of the game, they've made the game worse. Like in Madden 16, 17, there was multiple usable formations, multiple offenses, multiple plays. People ran six different offenses throughout the year. And what was their answer for some of these overpowered things? Take it out of the game. And now look at us. Here we are. PA counter go and flood. Right, boys? Then that's where we're at. So my answer is never remove shit out of the game. Yeah, they they made the C route basura. Now, the, obviously, the C taking the C route out has hurt bunch, but it's hurt other formations. Like, dude, taking the C route has hurt bunch, and it, but it's hurt it's hurt wide trips. It's hurt a lot of things, even just as much as just as much as bunch. Oh my God, sniper! I like, dude. My man Sniper is a six month sub. Appreciate you being part of this channel, bro. Some it did clundy conservative. I hate conservative. I really do. I feel like I feel like conservative. Hear me on this. Conservative makes the run game better. It makes the run game better. Because you don't got to give a shit. My man Keeley through July. Conservative is good. This is why conservative is good. Because you don't got to fucking think on offense. Fumbles are bad Madden. Sometimes. Sometimes it sucks. Right? Let's talk about fumbles for real. We've all fumbled. Sometimes it sucks dick. Sometimes you get cheated. You can't do anything about it. But conservative is what makes the running get people be able to run the ball. For real. Because they never fumble. They're cool with running a bunch of times because they never fumble. There's no risk to the shit. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to go out of bounds. You don't have to be careful. You don't have to give a shit that you're running to Sean Taylor. You don't have to give a shit that you're throwing two-yard passes into a covered receiver that's going to get his head knocked off. You don't have to give a shit. I feel like, honestly, this is when conservatives should be used. 
I'm up by two possessions. I don't really care about scoring. I just don't want to fumble. If that makes sense. That's the only time I feel like it should be clicked on. And the way and the way to do that is you should run slow. You should run like they're covering the ball. For real. Run at 80% speed or something like that. 75% speed. That that's how I feel about conservative. It should definitely be a thing because nobody should fumble when the game is over. If the game's over and you're to the point where all you got to do is run the clock out, you should never fumble. Have coaching adjustments made the game better? Hmm? What's the best what's the best coaching adjustment? My man untamed 11 months. Let's go. What's the best coaching adjustment? Conservative ball carrier. One it was broken in Madden 18. It was kind of broken this year cuz you could air truck while you're on conservative. So that was fucking stupid, right? The auto chew clock, the auto chew clock is annoying. Bro, who the fuck are you? Peyton Manning? When you gotta do 17 hot routes or audible flip? Come, snap the fucking ball, dude. It's 2021. Holy shit. Look at like this. Getting hit sticked is bad offense. Now, Madden 12, the strip button was OP. That was fucking stupid. I'll be honest. The strip button and Madden... Whenever the strip button is good, that's fucking stupid. Because you can just do it like the worst times. But hit sticking... Now, I also agree with this. Now, I agree with this. The way they hit stick now is OP. Dudes shouldn't be just be cracking and whacking and just everybody on the field blasting your shit. Now that's getting a little a little crazy. Everybody's blast, dude. Everybody hits sticks the shit out of everybody. Yeah, so it is. I I do feel like uh, the um as this basketball game is coming down to an absolute sweat right now. Hit stick definitely has aim assist. It's way too easy to hit stick. Um, too many players can hit stick. Now this is mutt. So, Mutt, you're going to have, by this time of year, everybody should be able to hit stick. Yeah, everybody's going to be able to crack your shit. Agreed. Now, regs, I'll be honest, not everybody Not everybody is a uh, hit. Nobody, uh, I, nobody really uses Heat Seeker. I used to. I don't know when Heat, heat Seeker became bad, though. Because I used Heat Seeker a long time, really. Oh, yeah, it should definitely be a hit power. I think there is, though, Gunner. I've always felt like it's way easier to hit stick with a high hit power dude. I've always felt that way. Like, yeah, you can land some with a corner, but it's so much easier when there's a big, when you have a, a hitter to hit. I've always felt that way. Hit power doesn't matter because of conservative. That's why hit power doesn't matter. If there was no conservative, hit power would once again matter. <laughs> it's shit. But then we go back to the RNG of will he fumble, will he not? Which, honestly, is a fun fucking thing, dude. Like. Like. Bro, like. I don't know, dude. It's fun to watch. Oh, shit, he got blasted. Oh, shit. Oh, he didn't fumble. Like. That shit makes the game entertaining. But everybody with 99 hit power has big hitter trait. I hate that fucking stupid shit. Oh, it's big hitter trait. Well, guess what? Sean Taylor's a big hitter. Brian Dawkins is a big hitter. Steve Atwater's a big hitter. What? There's probably one shitter you're going to name somebody. Oh, this guy. Oh, what? he's not a big hitter, so he can't hit. Who's the one shitter? Yeah, those are so stupid traits. Dumbest shit I've ever fucking... Oh, my God. Kevin Durant. Who's the guy with 99 hit power that doesn't have big hitter trait? Who is it? Grant Delpit.
Now, I, I, listen, I haven't played Madden in like a month. If Grant Delpit is the best safety on this, on the field, I, I, I'm i be honest, I think your team's kind of shitty. Traits. Let me tell you this. This is how I feel about traits. That's how I feel. That's how I've always felt about traits. You know who was a good big trait guy? My buddy balling you up. He was a big trait guy. Absolute dog shit at the game. But he, oh, I, I believe in the traits. If you, if you got, if you got sideline catch and you got cover ball, shut the fuck. Like, come on, dude. High, high motor. So I get the. Get the come. What the fuck? Like, bro, like, what are you doing in your life that you're looking at traits on Madden? Some of the abilities are useless. I think abilities were pretty good this year. What do we think about our abilities? I don't think they were OP. What was the most OP ability? Not, I will be honest with this one. Now, delay fades. Well, let's talk about abilities first. I I love abilities. Why? Because they make players that normally would suck relevant. Dan Marino, Justin Herbert, Gunslingers made white quarterbacks the meta, which has never been the case in Madden. Actually crazy. Route running. Like, dude, dudes had route running wide receivers, Jerry Rice's instead of Randy Moss and stuff like that. Like, using these other players... Are are it's definitely cool, really. I think um I don't know. I liked the man coverage. I loved it. I loved it. I did. I feel like shitters sucked against it. And good players hoarded up. That's how I, that's how I felt. And I felt like shitters. Oh, Giannis, Giannis, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, Giannis, Giannis, Middleton, Middleton, huh, underneath to Giannis, loses the ball, GG's, Durant makes two free throws here, Caballo, yes, I like how they made you during a D line. I saw Fancy and Ghost kill man coverage. I saw them. I saw Ghost kill man coverage. I saw this shit. I saw it. I I, 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 I was never the guy to have a problem with man coverage. Really, ever. Because I feel like good players would beat it. And why should a man coverage not be decent? I lived my whole life where man coverage was never usable. Never, never usable. I don't know. I, I honestly. I I've never been a uh, man coverage is bad for the game. I don't think that's bad. I do now nah, Tommy, that's a good point. I do think I do think that I do think that man coverage does make it you have to buy more cards. I agree with that. The the routes are the routes are the routes have been inconsistent this year. I will be I ran tight end hook to beat man coverage with a motion slant and dude, that, that should always worked. I don't know. It's not a big play like Z spot and shit like that, but that shit literally always worked. Every <laughs> worked every play. Flood worked every fucking play against man coverage. I I I I I don't know. 
It was not big plays, but it always worked. Yeah, I don't know. Now, this is how I feel. Okay, when you watch Drinny or Joke or, or any good player play defense when man coverage is good, it's going to look super fucking tough. Do you understand? Drinny makes zone look tough. He makes over G look good. Any defense these guys run is going to look fucking good. All right? And sometimes Drinny's going to bag a really good player with man coverage. It's going to happen. That's just that because they're good at defense. What I what I think when I think about how the game wants to think, I go like this. Um, are the shitters on are the, are the weekend league sweats or the weekend league solid twenty win players dominating with man coverage? And for against me all year, absolutely fucking not. No, period. No. I don't know how y'all felt, but. Of course, yes. If I played fucking Journey, and th- then this is th- this is the one. I feel like everything should be on all Madden. I I really do feel like that. I feel like everything should be all Madden. It's kind of like how we're talking about uh, MLB now. Every pitch speed should be the same. I feel like every bit of Madden should be on all Madden. I do. But no- nobody played. Nobody gave a fuck about all Madden. Y'all gotta understand that shit is like fucking irrelevant. It's irrelevant. For real. Now, it shouldn't be. Everything should be the same. Everything should be the same same mode. And I'll be real. Tight end hook and flood worked. Tight end, tight end, tight end hook and flood worked on every fucking mode. Every one step, every ability. Tight end hook and flood fucking work. I don't know. And then, like you said, Z-Spot and whatever shit worked every other play. <laughs> every other play. Some, some plays you were high-powered. Some plays you were ass. Clear out. Clear out worked every fucking play. Yes. Every fucking play. I don't know. I, w- I felt like I was always really good against man coverage. And then people sucked against it. So it was easy to beat people because... If the man meta was if the if the meta was man and you're really good against it and then you can run it, it was really easy to beat people. For real. Before I'll be honest, before the um last AP patch with the when you had the two one steps where I, they, I was I was fucking tough on defense. For real. Listen, there will came back. You also run a formation that had really good plays against man. Well, that's part of picking the fucking offense you run, right? There it is. Yeah, I'm like, all right. And this is what I said. And I'll tell you this. The whole year, I said Seattle Bunch is the best. Why? Because it beats fucking man. The whole year, I said that shit. I watch Skimbo play and bomb all these fucking bazookas and Skimbo just like this, throwing the ball over his head behind the back. Skim- oh, Skimbo's fucking great. Oh, he's bombing. Co- Before they patched him. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Before they patched him. But I thought to myself all the time, I thought, damn, I kind of want to use that playbook. I kind of want to use that. That shit's kind of high power, bro. But I remember Seattle beats man coverage. It does. Seattle beats man coverage. So that's that therein lies. Therein lies why I stayed in Seattle. I did want to try. I did want to try on um, whatchamacallit. Was there even any tourneys? What the fuck was the what tournaments were there? Madden Bowl. J Wall won. Well, or, or or club series was like the only fucking tournament, wasn't it? And then the like seriously, what were the tournaments this year? They, they had a regs draft champions ones, and that's the ones Drinny Drinny hoard. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, that's why I always played. I always played in Seattle. I always used Seattle because it beat man coverage better. That's why I chose. That's why I liked it better than 
what was it? Washington was the Skimbo book. Washington, or one of those. Yeah, I always thought it was the. I always, I never switched. I never switched from Seattle because it beat man coverage. That's why I loved the man coverage, man. I loved it. I felt like I was really good against it, and people sucked against it. Now, I'll be honest, man coverage got a little bit tougher. The more and this and here goes back to our thing. Remove safeties at linebacker. Now Derwin James isn't covering Reggie Bush every fucking play, right? Okay. By removing the safeties at linebacker, you naturally make man coverage a little bit weaker. Not substantially, because you can move people around and things like that. But you will make man coverage weaker by having to use a Ray Lewis or a Devin White or something like that that doesn't have 99 speed, you know? Stops with, with 16 months. Prestige, the parallel system combined. See, I think... Um, Why, 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 why say that? Man coverage takes no skill. What the fuck is skill on defense? What is that? What is that? What explain what skill is on defense? But because you change your flat zones to five and fifteen and then ten and twenty, that's skill? I don't understand. I don't I never understood I never understood that. I never understood that that defense takes skill when it's zone. Why is that? I th and I feel like defense is predicting anticipating what play they're going to run and putting the right play call out there. I think there's not somebody that's sitting in two man under and, and dominating good player. It's just not, I'm sorry. There's really not. What do you, what do you have to do more to use zone? Explain what is more. Two man rush just needs to get double teams. Uh, post up should be man, should be our stock. Po the post up double team should be every double team really. I just honestly, uh, Durant Durant's a bitch. He'll always Durant will always be a bitch. That's it. He'll always be a hussy that ran to the team that beat his ass in the playoffs. He'll always be a bitch. He'll never have any respect in the world. He could score 70 points every playoff game and nobody gives a shit because he's fucking irrelevant. Period. For real. He's irrelevant. There's no respect on KD. KD, KD removed the respect factor. He did. But some of y'all are like that. That's how some of y'all are. That's how some of y'all. That's how some of your hearts are made. That's how some of your blood is. You're getting your ass kicked. And you say, No, no, it's too hard for me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go where it's easy. That's how some of y'all are made. That's how some of y'all are, are are raised. That's how some of y'all think. And that's okay. And that's okay. You know, if that's how you think, if that's how your mind works, if that's how your heart pumps, that's okay. Respect. That's cool. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, really hate on you for feeling that way. I'm just not that person, you know, not that person. Bring back the spin move. That was a good spin move. What LeBron did and what KD did were way different. Let's, now I don't want to sidetrack too much, but it's way different. 
LeBron, LeBron went to a like a, I don't want to say a fresh team, but a pretty fresh team. Now he power he teamed up with some great players, right? I mean, first of all, super teams have always been a thing in the NBA. There hasn't been like the only team that really wasn't a super team that won was probably the Pistons. Now some super teams are built differently. You know, I could probably say the Spurs weren't really a super team because they were all homegrown guys. But they were really, I mean, they're really Hall of Fame players, right? But uh, I, I think the Spurs would get that non-super team vibe just because they were homegrown, late picks, uh, that type of vibe. And the Pistons. But but the Pistons were kind of built a little bit differently. But you talk about the Lakers. Now, Shaq and Kobe, like, is Sha- were the Lakers a super team with Shaq and Kobe? Mavs, that's another good one. Miracles, that's another good one. That was kind of a really good run with the Mavs. I think I think the Mavs winning was kind of like a an outlier, really. Warriors, Warriors were a super team, really, because they got two. I mean, they're just a homegrown one, so it's 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 different, right? It's different because you look at it like if they're homegrown and you drafted the players, it's not the same, right? It's not the same. You know. I do think the uh, the Miami, when LeBron left, was like the first, like, okay. It wasn't even like, a lot of times players, like, obviously older players go to better teams to try to help them team uh, team up, I guess. But the LeBron era was kind of like, we're in our primes, let's go play on a team. It was a little more um, meditated, a little bit more thought out, a little bit more deliberate, I guess, to make a super team. Really. Well, Toronto won because the super team got hurt. Let's let's rewind that. Toronto won because the super team got hurt with uh, KD and his Achilles. Yeah, but Rico, you got to understand, it's been like that. I mean, Bill Russell had a, a god squad, and, it, like, teams were never, it's always been, like, we get this misconception that there's, on, there's only four or five teams in NBA. No shit. It's always been like that. Always. Every single year, ever. Because the talent in the NBA, when you have the great players, whether it's Magic, Bird, whether it's Kareem, Oscar, um, Wilt, any one of these dudes just carries a team, and then you put a couple people behind, a couple people around them. One, they automatically make these players better. Like Draymond, right? Draymond would be a shitter if he was on the Detroit Pistons, but because he, but because he's with Clay and and Steph Curry, all these runs, he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, dude. Maybe not first ballot, but he's he's a no doubt about it Hall of Famer, Draymond Green, for real, for real. No, but we're not tally. That's not even the case. If you're going to say that, Bill Walton went to the Celtics. Bill Walton was on the Celtics. So let's really bring it back. And it's probably even more before that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Jeff Green hit seven of eight threes. Yeah, that's going to happen again. Yeah, so uh, the NBA has always been like that. Yeah. Jeff Green. Yeah, Jeff Green makes seven to eight threes. You're probably going to lose to Kevin to the Nets, honestly. You're probably like, you got to just say that. Yeah, so it's always going to happen. Now, all you can hope if your team, like, who's your NBA team for real, Chad? Who's your NBA team? Uh, like I said, mine's the Sixers, whether they're ass or whether they're good. The Sixers are on like a, the Sixers are like a super poor man's super team, right? They got like three all stars. They got two locked all stars every single year. Uh, we need that third one, like. 
But trying to be a homegrown super team, really. Kings. Oh, the Kings got to be nasty. I don't think the Sixers need anybody. I really don't. I think the Sixers team is really good. Um, my man Void with a year. Let's go, Void. Turn up. Sixers could always use a bucket getter. I think Tobias is good, but I don't think he's like Tobias isn't like a superstar bucket getter. He's a really good player though. I think to because 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 Simmons being your third your second best player is is like the opposite of a bucket getter. Your third player kind of got to be your second player. It's just a weird weird dynamic. Yeah. But the Sixers are listen, the Sixers are this is the like you have an arc of your prime and they're right here right here, honestly. This is the arc of their prime. Barring and B just absolutely breaking down, which eventually is probably going to happen in the next 6 years here. But they're just getting started on it. Simmons and Embiid are, what, Simmons is 24. They're just just like pretty much every other player in the league, really. But they're definitely right there on the on the, the up and up for the most part. And you see, although there's a lot of good young players, the best players in the league are still 30-year-old players. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kevin Durant is old as fuck. And Giannis has been in the league like nine years, dude. <laughs> for real. So... I think 27 to 28, 20, 27 to 31 is probably your super prime for a player. And that just that just adds to what is Tatum and Booker and all these guys going to be in five years from now, for real, for real. Really. The Sixers don't need anything. They just need to fucking play better. You know? I'll be I already know what happened. I know what happened. Boys, I know what happened to the Sixers. Embiid was in fucking Atlanta all weekend partying. That's what happened. He's tired. He doesn't have the gas. You saw it. Yeah, I've never seen him that bad. I I have one leg and have more effort than him. Come on, dude. Y'all saw it. Yeah, you got yeah, for real. Embiid and, and and that that is part of the pro- and that is part. I don't want to say problem, but it's a that's a not a championship mindset for real. For real, do you understand? It's not a championship mindset, right? No matter how good you are, and how you know a second place in in, in MVP, you know you're one of the best players in the world without a doubt. Uh, but that was not a championship mindset. Now I don't know if that's really what happened, but. Looked like it, really. Listen, I I never want Ben Simmons to ever shoot a jumper in his life, ever. I'm ever. All I want him to do is just drop step and fucking hop step and try to dunk on people. That's all I want. And shoot seventy percent from the line. That's all I want from Embiid. If you got for the idiots that want Embiid to shoot, have you watched fucking Giannis? Have you watched Giannis play at all? How could you want somebody bad shooting the ball? I never understood that. Like, for real. That's like, yo, let's run the wide receiver screen to our fucking O-lineman. Like, what? He don't need shit, but need to be able to drop step and hop step and dunk on people. He needs to be able to hit free throws. That's it. That's it. He don't need no fucking mid-range or nothing. The Sixers get whatever they want. But he just need to put his head down sometimes, get an offensive foul, and try to dunk on somebody. Really? That's all. That's what I'm saying, homie. And that's where, why ask Giannis to shoot when you have all these other people? That's what I'm saying. He needs to be a threat. Giannis will never be a threat. They're never going to fucking guard him. He could make 10 out of 10 one game. The next game, they're not going to guard him. Same thing with Ben. You have to use your other players to, to you have to, to make them a threat. And the Sixers do a great job with Ben in that. The Sixers do a great job with Ben. Then the Bucks do with Giannis. 
Giannis is just way more aggressive and a way better finisher, really. And the Sixers have shooters. They do. That's why they're fucking good. Yeah. Ben just needs at least Giannis. That's the dumbest thing in the world, dude. That's the dumbest thing. At least Giannis shoots. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. At least he shoots. Fuck. You're right. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Who's fucking mindset is brick? Brick. Well, at least I shoot. I'm good. I, I think watching Giannis has made me appreciate that Ben says, no, you fucking shoot. Oh, Seth Curry, please take the ball. Oh, Tobias, you shoot. Let me do what I have to do to get you a shot. Because you know what? You shoot better than me. For real. Yo, Ben needs to shoot 70% from the line, 1 million percent. And honestly, right now, I'd take 50. Because right now in the playoffs, he's like 20. That's a problem. That's a problem. But the shooting in the game is not a problem. But honestly, I, I really do think it's a confidence thing because he was he was decent this year for real. He was decent. Definitely better than this. Oh, Ben knows what to do. But Hackaben Hackaben is stupid though, because you don't want to donate points, man. Even if you donate one point. Hmm. Yes, Ben needs to be more aggressive. That's that. There it is. He needs to be a little bit more. But he was. He he has been. I so, bro, the Sixers aren't losing because of Ben. The Sixers lost because Embiid was the worst player on the court. The best player on the court was the worst player. If that's, I mean, let me tell you something. If Embiid goes over 12, I don't give a shit if Ben Simmons is Superman. The Sixers aren't winning the championship. And they're not beating the Hawks. Like, that's it. That's it. That's all it is. Carry the load. I don't know. Then here go another one. Okay, and Bede's 0 for 11. Let me tell you what I don't want to do. I don't want to give the ball to Ben. I want to keep giving the ball to Embiid because he's the MVP. What the fuck? I don't give a shit if he's 0 for 11. He's the best player on the team. Come on, man. Ben Simmons got to show up and carry the load. No! Please, Embiid, get it going. That's how I feel. Embiid's over 10. All right, Ben, ISO. No, give it back to Embiid. You got to show me. Embiid misses 11 shots. You got to show me you're going to miss the 12. He's the best player on the team. Yeah, exactly. Tally, you can't even be mad about it. It's nothing to even talk about. All right, but this is where I'm... Listen, this is where I'm sticking with my, this is where I'm sticking with for now. Let's save this here. Um, what do I want to save this as? Wish list. We'll save that, boys. That's where we're at. All Ben needs to do, all Ben needs to do is sometimes put somebody under a rim and try to jump, dunk on him. Like he does. Like he, he does that. If you put Trey Young on him, he's going to try to put him under the hoop. Delay fades. Now, we'll probably talk about delay fades in another another episode at some point down here, down the line. But for me, delay fades need to just be like, you guys know how the... um. The running back fade thing is, and it's a curl. It needs to be like that, kind of. Where it goes 10 yards and stops. It should Delay fade shouldn't be a 30-yard play. It shouldn't be. That's pretty much how I feel. We are here, boys. The dragon of the tiger. I'm starting at the bottom, though. Unban request, boys, boys, boys. All right, all right, all right. All 
All right. I don't know if this is supposed to be a dick. What is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be a dick? Is this supposed to be a dick right here? Because I can't see what this is. Do I got to squint or something? Am I missing this right here? What is this? It's Braille. <laughs> you got this. You are a gamer MLB. Chase banned him. Chase, check in. Bruh, I was just trying to motivate him because he was down in a game. It's not my fault that he sucks fat cock at fucking baseball game. I don't know what this is. Am I doing it wrong? Does it look like anything to any of y'all? What the fuck is this? Does anybody know? Talk to me, boys. Does anybody know what this shit is? Is it a cock? That's all I want to ask. Is it a cock? Is it a cock or no? Are we feeling cock? <laughs> or what are... What is it, boys? Not a cock. All right, good. All right, musician. Does anyone know how to get back on a site that banned you? It's literally all he ever typed. Oh, no, 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 I don't do that. I do this. Fuck that guy. One love. Yo, this dude be pissing me off. Yo, one love is a nasty fuck. But it's my guy. Sausage goat dodger. Stream the game, please. Can you stream the game? Can you stream the game? Are you able to stream the game? Oh, you can't stream it. Are you able to stream the game? Height, height, ban. Spamming, ban. Hi, ban. I'm just kidding. I'm just, oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, I got banned for no reason. What did you do? Come on, unban me, bro. I did nothing. What was I saying? Sorry for no reason, bro. Come on, bro. Unban me. My man Doer is in the building 17 months. Let's get it. I'm denying this fucking guy, bro. I don't like the cut of his jib. Move tool. Oh, this guy, this my man that wouldn't, he, you know, this dude wouldn't. This guy wouldn't uh, show his eyes. So, I think he was a grammar ban. Yo, he was a grammar ban. He was a grammar ban. This was the fake clue. This I, we gotta ban the fake clue. We gotta ban him. Get him out. Q money smashed your mom. Q money smashed your mom.
This guy should be mod. This guy. This guy should be mod. He's out of here. He's out of here. No, I don't got time for Q money. <laughs> Come on, boys. There's no Q money. This guy's a scumbag. Lattimore error. Dudes are weird, bro. I can't wait for Madden 22 Dragon up next. I can't lie, I'm a little disappointed in Dragon Tiger. I'm a little bit disappointed. I can't. I'm a little disappointed. Underwhelming. Underwhelming dragon tiger. A little bit underwhelming. I mean, we need a dragon. We need a tiger fact. Here we say. Here's five. Here's five facts about tigers. That dude is nasty. That dude is a nasty fuck. All right, boys. Well, this was the Need a Podcast episode. One thirty-two. We're hot, boys. We're hot. We will add to this wish list. We will add to this wish list going forward. Um, by the end, it will be great. So, like I said, these podcasts is every Tuesday. Make sure you check out that Twitch link to check them out live and join this nasty ass chat, which is over here. These all these nasty guys, all these guys right here. You can join them on Tuesdays.